Hey everybody, Lone Star Gaming here. We got an MLB 20 video on a NCAA franchise that you can make uh, in MLB The Show. It's a 30 team franchise brought to you by myself and another guy from the Operation Sports Forums. So we'll show you how to get the rosters, uniform uh, logos, and then how to put together the uniforms since we cannot give, can't put uniforms on the vault and you can't transfer them back and forth. We tried to, uh, but it kept saying that uh, the uniforms belong to another uh, user. So, first off, we'll go to the vault. Go to the roster. Rosters currently are not up, um, but once this video is released, they will be. So, gamer tag you will go to is three O's, LSU Tigers, and three O's. Search under online ID. Boom. You'll get it there. Download them, save them, title them whatever you need to. Then you'll get in the vault. Stand in the vault. You'll go back. You'll go over to logo using L1. Search with square button. New search. Change the online ID to Lone Star Gaming. Hit search. Here's where you'll find all the rosters for all the teams. Um, these are the teams we chose to based on uh, players we were able enough putting enough players in, also using um, current MLB players that used to play there um, as options as well. So you'll see there's color swatches on the uh, logo sets, and the reason we put all the logos into one was because you can only have 30 logos downloaded at once. So we feel like this is the best way for everybody to download them all at once, so you don't have to worry about going back and forth and back and forth, and you have all of them there to work from. So once you download these, you'll back out of the vault. You go to Franchise, Start New. You will go to Load Saved Rosters, load in the rosters that you got from the vault. But for now, you will, I'm going to use current rosters. The Astros are going to be replaced by the LSU Tigers. So you're going to go to Logo Editor. You'll see why here in a sec. You're going to go to Home Jersey. You're going to load in LSU. You're going to hit the Down button on the D-pen to select all. And then you're going to deselect the two color swatches. Come over here, delete these. You're not going to lose them. Trust me, you'll be fine. And then you're going to increase the size of these color swatches to make your, uh, to pick your team colors. So you'll see why. So it shows up on the jersey. So for the yellow, I, I choose, I start with the Oakland A's yellow. Um, and then you'll just kind of find, there's always going to be a shadow under the logo, so it's going to be kind of difficult, but just match it up however you, however you like. Um, I think that looks pretty good. You're going to go here to the accent color. You're going to select that yellow that you just had. Now you're going to go back to the main color so that the jersey will change. You're going to go to purple. So you're going to find whatever purple you think looks best. Keep that. Team name. You're going to go with LSU. The location you're just going to do Louisiana. You could also, or at least that's what I'm going to do. Um, you don't have to do that. You can also do Baton Rouge. Or you can leave it. Um, I don't think you can leave it blank. I think you do need to put something. Tigers, you do want to update that. The abbreviation LSU. My all caps don't want to work. Then you'll hit circle, go back. Now you're going to go to the logo editor. You're going to load in your LSU logos. You're going to select all and deselect. I'm going to use this white one. I like this one the best. You're going to delete the others. This is your main logo to show up on the side of the field. Um, during the game, on the first, at least in Diamond Dynasty, it shows up on the first and third base sides of the field. So line that up however you feel. Boom, good. Home jersey. We are going to load in the logos again. We're going to select all, and then we're going to deselect this purple and gold one. Going to delete. Going to show. Excuse me. Going to show the player. 
Uh, the jersey that they wear at home is a white jersey. You could also do the yellow or the purple options. Um, I will show you the purple option in a sec. Um, so this is the white one. I'm going to copy this because there's a gray jersey I also um, prefer to use that uh, has the logo in the same position. So I'm going to go over Actually, I'm going to put it on the jacket first. Make it easy. We're going to paste on the away jersey, and we're going to paste on the away jacket. Boom. The cap, you're going to load in. You're going to select all, and then you're going to deselect this white one in the middle because they wear a purple hat. Delete. Show more options. You're going to show the player again. And you're going to size it up however you like. Uh, about 0.9. Right around 0.9 is about right. At least for me, uh, however you, you can do it however you want. Um, they wear the same, or excuse me, they have the same logo on the helmet as well. Um, so, and the cap on the road as well. Um, they wear a purple hat on the road, uh, home and away. So those are all your logos right there. So we're gonna load into uniforms. I'm gonna load in, a, I'm gonna import a team, LSU teams that I've already had. And uh, I'm gonna show you what the uniforms look like. So here's the all purple hat, everything purple, underbuild, I don't, you don't really gotta worry about that. Stripes, there's no stripes, so you can just leave that. Logo finish, you can do however you want. I think the standard looks best. Base style, it's an all white jersey. Undershirt and long sleeve are purple. Same with the sleeves. Now their name, you can do it with a white trim or a purple trim either way. Um, there's no trim they actually on the jerseys, so um, do whatever you want. Numbers, purple with yellow trim. Same for the front, and it will be the, um, it'll be the same font for the front and back. You can change the color for the front. Uh, they go on the lower right. No piping on the pants, black belt, all purple helmet with the logo. Uh, I put the yellow numbers on the back. I just like to put the number there. You don't have to. Socks, pretty simple, purple, purple stirrups, cleats, all purple, uh, with a white, with a little bit of white trim and white laces. They wear the same cleats home and road. Batting gloves, it's just kind of a default I do. You can do all uh, purple, you can do whatever you want. Um, I, I like to do the white with the uh, team color there. You could always do a little yellow there, add a little bit of color, a little different color, um, purple armbands though. Purple jacket, catcher's gear, purple and gold. Um, you, know, you could keep the uh, helmet all purple if you want to, however you want it. Um, so we're back to the cap now. We go to the away team. Pretty much the same thing. It's the exact same uniform, but in gray. So that, it's pretty simple. Same for the batting gloves, jacket, catcher's helmet, purple and gold. Uh, the other option I have, excuse me, is on the away uniform. You have a purple jersey option. You can use the Tigers logo that comes in the logo set. Uh, if you want to do the yellow jersey at home, use the same logo, go into the logo editor. And what you'll do is you'll ungroup you will select all and then deselect these white pieces. Change color and selected. Go to the purple you have. Go back. Oh, there we go. You have yellow. Um, however you want it. If you want to leave the sleeves purple, go for it. I don't care. This is how I'm just giving you all the logos and just explaining to y'all how to uh, put the uniforms in. How to put the logos into the uniforms. Um, obviously, I would change that um, so I'm gonna go back to the main team I have stadium select uh, you can do whatever you want you can keep it in the team they're replacing you can go to minor league stadiums I'm gonna go with choosing the closest uh, major league stadium as long as you can have duplicate multiple teams playing in the same stadium uh, I haven't totally tried that out yet you don't want to hit yes when you're finished hit start then yes Save it so you can use it in a future franchise if you want to, if you want to do it a second time. You're going to hit new save. I've already got it saved. So we're going to go back. 
Uh, then the Braves, they are uh, with Cal State Fullerton. So I've got, I'll load them in. I create custom team just to show you what they look like. So they got white pinstripes. Uh, so blue helmet, or blue hat, excuse me. Uh, orange button, orange eyelets. White jersey with the blue pinstripes, blue undershirt and sleeves. Uh, num no name on the back. Um, numbers, blue with orange trim, pinstripe pants. Helmet identical to the hat. Um, I put a white number on the back. You can do whatever you want. Same as LSU, no stripes on the socks. I didn't touch the cleats much. Gloves, same thing. On uh, Blue jacket, excuse me. Catcher's gear, blue and orange. Uh, the away team, or excuse me, away uniforms, pretty much gray without the pinstripes. Uh, there's no piping on the pants. Same numbers, blue with orange trim, same hat, helmet, socks, uh, cleats, you can do whatever you want. Batting gloves, jacket, catcher's gear, all the same. Um, another team I have loaded in is the uh, Texas a and Aggies. So they will uh, replace the white socks. So you can uh, go in there and then I will load them in. I only have the home team, oh, home uniforms done, excuse me. Uh, so they have the uh, maroon hat with white top and white uh, eyelets. White jersey across with the uh, two color band with the uh, maroon and white. Undershirt and sleeves are maroon. Uh, then they have the retro double striping on the sleeve. Maroon and white again, same font. You can all, you know, always change this. I don't know why it's going to black. I don't know what that's doing. Um. So yeah, you can change it to whatever you, you know. They don't have any trim on the numbers or the uh, names, so do whatever you feel. Uh, double piping on the sides. Maroon helmet, white logo. Same with the socks, nothing special. Gloves, wristbands, jacket, catcher's helmet, all the same. Um, so that'll do it. That'll do it. Um, in the description, there will be a list of the teams um, who they are replacing. Um, and then also, if you have any questions regarding uh, putting the logos in um, or something doesn't look right, you can always. Um, there's a Discord that you can find us in. Uh, if you go to the Operation Sports Forums, go to MLB Show Rosters, and then find the NCAA. Uh, topic thread there's a discord link in there you can jump in there message me there or you can find me on twitter at lone star gtv send me a dm uh, i will gladly help you um, if there are any logos where you open it up and everything's kind of spread out um, just let me know i can re-replace them in the vault um, also if you kind of go through and you maybe it's just one that's spread out you can select all then deselect the other ones that are good and then group the ones that are that need to be selected. So if you, like I showed you, highlight over the ones that are checked, hit X, then go to groups, group selected, then it'll put it together so you can move them easily. Um, all teams should be good though. Um, color swatches are in there. Um, if you have any questions, um, also on the Ole Miss uh, one, you may have seen there's a powder blue. So I gave the option for you to have powder blue uniforms. Um, if you need to see how those look, uh, just Google it. Um, pretty much all these teams, if you just Google team name, baseball uniforms 2020, you can easily find how they look um, and you can make them to your liking. Um, if you want to you know, create additional logos for them, go right ahead. Um, I chose the ones that were, you know, for some teams I had to, I made them, so I chose the ones that were easiest and most efficient, timely, time efficient to make. Um, thanks to the other, other people that, um, and put some of these logos in the vault um, so that we didn't have to create all of them. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, don't <clears throat> please feel free to uh, hit us up. Uh, I'm glad to help you if there's uh, any issues. And hopefully I'll be back on the uh, Twitch streams. Maybe we'll have some YouTube videos as well uh, with MLB 20 regarding maybe this franchise uh, as well as Dynasty. So uh, that'll be it for this one, and I'll see you all next time.